guys, Breamage here. Welcome to my channel. Good evening, happy Friday, happy beginning to the weekend, all of that great stuff. Okay guys, welcome back to another vlog. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for coming back. Okay guys, I don't know if I said it already, but I'm gonna say it again. Happy Friday. I hope everyone has a great, has had a great day so far and is going to have an even better weekend. Right now, I am frustrated AF. And, let's, and let me tell you why. First of all, my door is not locked, let me lock it. Okay, now let's get into why I'm frustrated. First of all, right? I mean, I guess this is my fault because I've been saying that I need to get a cart for the longest time and I have not gotten the goddamn cart. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to that cart, let me tell you why I need that cart. First of all. Okay, so you know I told you guys that my mattress has been delayed for the longest time and that it was supposed to come on March 7th. But right now it is March 11th. I still don't have a mattress. I don't have a mattress or a mattress foundation. None of that. So, March 7th comes, right? By the way, I got my mattress from Mattress Firm. March 7th comes along, and I realize that the day is running off, and I don't get no call that my mattress is being delivered, or like, you know, open the elevator for me so I can come deliver your mattress and set it up and all that, because I paid for them to bring it up here and set it up. Mind you, this is not a box mattress, it's actually, like, you know, the big ones, it wasn't no box one. So they would have to come set it up because I wasn't gonna do that myself. So I paid for all that for them to come and do that. And then March 7th, the day is running off. I'm realizing I'm wrapping up my last call at work. It's around four and these people don't call me. So I called them and I was like, hey, I was supposed to have my mattress delivered today, but there's no mattress. Can I get an update or something like what is going on? Miss mm -hmm. Ma'am is gonna tell me that she's gonna call me back, you know, check with the warehouse and all that. So she does that calls me back and she was like oh it seems as though there has been some glitch in the system and they had to lock your order which basically means that nothing can be done to your order until it is unlocked so she put in a ticket to have my order unlocked so i'm like i'm like hold on that one sec because right now i'm very irritated about sleeping on the couch i don't know if it's because i'm in a new space or i'm in the couch but i am not sleeping right and i need a bed so I was talking to her and she's like basically nothing can be done until the ticket is unlocked and she doesn't know when the ticket is going to be unlocked because it really all depends on the tech people. Mind you this was Monday and then she was like oh I'm going to try and get it unlocked for you by, by Wednesday. So I'm like, at this point I'm frustrated as hell. So I'm like, whatever. In my head, I'm like, if I don't hear nothing by Wednesday morning, I'm canceling the order and I'm just gonna buy another mattress online and get back my refund because I'm frustrated at this point. So Monday runs off, the rest of the day, Tuesday runs off. Wednesday morning, 8.30 come. I check my phone, no calls. I check my email, no nothing. So of course I call them again. I'm like, has there been any update on my order? And mind you, on this day it was another guy at the place and not the girl that I was dealing with on Monday. So he never know what's going on. So I had, to, I had to explain the situation all over again. And it turns out that she left a note to let them know what was going on. So him finally up to speed with what's going on and he's like, oh yeah, the ticket is still locked. Um, There's nothing we can do until the ticket is unlocked. So I'm sorry, just cancel the order. Just cancel it. Man, delete that shit, bro delete it he was like okay i'll try but because the order was locked they couldn't do anything to it until it was unlocked meaning they couldn't cancel it and couldn't reschedule it and couldn't do anything to the order until it was unlocked so i'm like here what as soon as the order is unlocked cancel it and give me back my refund that's all i want at this point because i'm so frustrated because if you're telling me that you cannot do anything until the order is unlocked what if it stays a lot till the year done? That means some of it, that English. That means I'm supposed to sit and wait on you guys until the year is done to get my mattress up. I should be sleeping on the couch until basically my lease is up. No. So I'm just like, you know what? Whenever that happens, just cancel it and get my own money. It was like, fine, whatever, boom. So that same time I ordered, <laughs> I ordered, um, as soon as I came up the phone, I ordered a mattress online, not a foundation. And I ordered it from this site called Lull. 
so that came today and mind you i did that on wednesday so now i have a mattress however i don't have a foundation because i ordered the foundation too but the foundation comes on tuesday which is next week tuesday the 15th but the mattress came today so i have the mattress but i don't have the foundation okay going back to yesterday yesterday the girl calls me the, girl, the same girl that i talked to monday and she was like oh i'm just here to tell you that um your your order has been rescheduled for saturday march 12th and i'm just like did I not tell you people that I want to cancel order? Did you wanna communicate? Do you guys communicate? Huh? So that was already frustrating to me because I'm like, I told y'all I want to cancel the order. I told your co-worker that I want to cancel the order. So why you're telling me that I've been rescheduled for March 12th and I'm telling y'all I don't want the goddamn mattress or and box spring in work because I want a mattress and a box spring. So me I tell her I am telling her that I told the guy that I talked to um, on Wednesday that I want the artist to be cancelled. He said he made a note and then she said, okay, fine, you know, I'll put that into the system as well that you want it cancelled. But your ticket is still locked, so it's going to be... I mean, your order is still locked, so nothing can happen until... So I can't. they can't cancel it until um, it's unlocked. So I'm just like, I'm confused because first you tell me... Because first you tell me that nothing can happen to my order until it's unlocked. But yet you're able to get my order out to me or have a, another delivery date set, set for me for that order. However, it needs to be unlocked for me to get a refund and get the order cancelled. Do you see how in this situation 2 plus 2 is not equaling 4? Am I... You guys where I'm coming from? Am I missing something here? Okay, anyway, so me come off on the phone with she and uh, now I am here so I guess I'm gonna have to follow back up with her and see what is going on with the cancellation process. Anyways, so now going back, I know that was like a long story, but knowing, now going back to why I need a card to carry my things upstairs because as I said, I got the mattress I ordered online today, but that shit is heavy as hell. I cannot carry it upstairs. I tried, as a matter of fact, to get it out of the package room was a struggle in itself. So for me to drag it to the elevator, then drag it to my unit, that's a whole nother situation. Um, the card that usually is in leasing it, whenever I have a package that's too heavy I would ask them to borrow it but it wasn't there this time so the girl uh, the girl downstairs said she gonna call me when the person brings it back but it is so heavy I could not bring that upstairs I could not bring that upstairs so I'm basically I took it out of the package room and put it into the area so hopefully nobody will see this and to be honest I don't need it until next week anyways because i can't put the mattress down without the foundation which is another situation on its own so yeah that's what's been going on in my life and my battery life is flashing which means i've been talking for too long so i'm gonna charge this back up and come back to you guys <laughs> a few moments later good morning guys happy monday i know i look kind of busted i literally just got up to sign into work i've been awake from like after seven but i just like got up out of the couch <laughs> i just want to say i did not vlog since friday when i came on here and i was talking to you guys about the whole mattress situation and all that frustration but i'm so excited because i didn't have a lisp <laughs> I have my retainers in. I've been realizing that I need to start wearing them back. So over the past week or so, I've been making it a point to ensure that I at least sleep in them. So it took a while to break them in and now I have a lisp. So I'm just gonna pretend that we're not hearing that, okay? Okay, anyway, so I checked my email this morning and my mattress foundation is actually coming today. So I'm super excited about that. Oh wait, no lie. When I last talked to you guys, I told you that, I told you that the mattress was downstairs and it was too heavy for me to carry upstairs. I actually did carry upstairs. I just went and I pulled it upstairs. Took some time, but I got it up here. So wait, let me show you guys that actually. Ooh. Yeah, this is the mattress right here in this box. And I have all these other boxes to toss outside, but we'll do that whenever. But yeah, so I got the mattress on Friday and I brought it upstairs and everything. So it's been there chilling for a while, but I checked my email today and the mattress foundation is actually coming today and not tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. Um, That means I can put up the bed later and I can show you guys and I can finally stop sleeping in the couch so i'm super excited but also what i realized is that i didn't get a comforter or do there or anything yet 
so i think i'm gonna have to go to ikea again later um to get that because i think i saw the comforter i don't know if it's a comforter or a duvet insert i don't even know what the difference is but we gonna figure it out but i might get that from ikea later and also there's one last thing oh the chair that i was telling you guys about in my last video that was giving me a really hard time i think i'm going to return it i am 90 percent sure i'm going to return it i think what i'm going to do i am going to pull apart the arms because that was the only thing that i did and i'm going to return it and then i'm going to go to like marshall's and buy a chair there because those chairs are usually already put together so that is what i'm weighing on them because honestly i don't even like the chair anymore <laughs> I don't know, I really don't even like the chair anymore. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm leaning towards doing. But anyways, I just wanted to fill y'all in on that. So I'm going to actually go be productive and see if I have any work to do right now because I literally signed in. I'm looking at my computer right now. And then I'm going to come back to you guys later when the when the mattress gets here. Not the mattress, the mattress foundation gets here. And we're going to put it up together. So see y'all in the next clip hey guys so i am back i got a wig on because i wanted to but anyways i'm back and it is about 3 51 almost four o'clock yes i'm still on, on the clock at work however my package has been delivered my foundation is downstairs for my mattress so i just wrapped up my last meeting so i'm going to go and grab that that's gonna take a while because I'm gonna struggle to have other packages. I still have not got my um, shopping cart thing yet where I can pull my packages up, but we're gonna get that soon. But I'm about to go downstairs now and get my foundation and then we're gonna unpack that, set that up and set up my mattress as well. And I finally have a bed. Oh my God, I hope it's not hard to set up because I can't take the stress. I cannot take the stress, but I'm excited. I am so excited to finally be able to sleep on a bed. So I'm gonna see y'all when I come back upstairs. Okay guys, so let us talk about this mattress foundation. I had so much high hopes for this until I got it and started to assemble it. Now the instructions are very easy. They're extremely easy. All you have to do is like align the four pieces together and put the lugs in them to keep them secure. But for the love of God, I could not get those lugs to go in. Like the pieces at the end, and you guys will see later because I will show you they were just not being aligned and that just stressed me out so right now you just see me taking out everything and at this point i'm still optimistic because i have not started anything yet but i take out everything and then once everything is out with pause look at how big that box is and i have to drag it upstairs and it is huge bigger than me anyways i'm looking at the instructions and this is where it tells me you know to set it up to align everything together so i'm like okay i'm going to do it in the living room floor but then i changed my mind i decided to put it into the bed set <laughs> so this is like where i start to assemble it again trying to align everything no i know it's like a 30 second clip or whatever but this literally took me forever i'm just there trying to align them trying to align them and they are just not aligned i went around the thing like a million times trying to put it together was not aligned the looks could not fit in so i did that for some time so i decided maybe the bed set is a problem i need to go back into the living room which is what i did right here so now i'm in the living room trying to put it together on the floor again it still was not aligned the lugs still were not still weren't going into the holes on the sides so i'm like all right i'm gonna flip it up <laughs> vertically to see if it would be easier that way and it kind of went in for two sides but the other two it did not go in so I decided to put it flat again because in this position it was falling all over the place and I didn't want to break anything. So I'm like, alright, after putting those two, I'm going to put it back down flat. Oh, and see, I end up taking it apart for whatever reason. I don't know. I was just all over the place this day. 
hey guys my camera died and i managed to like charge it up a bit but this is how far i am with the thing so what i've managed to do is put the foundation thing in the bed frame and put the center piece in the middle and no not all the lugs are in because that's what i was struggling with i was struggling to get these lug things i don't know if you can see properly but these lug things in i was able to get three of them in so there's one here there's one right here there's one over there over there but that one does not have any because it could not fit let me show you this one like there's literally nothing in there because for some reason i could not get it to be aligned properly and i just i just honestly cannot bother so if i come in here and tell you guys that i fall off of the bed then that's why because that just would not like go in properly and i'm super frustrated i've been at this for like at least an hour now maybe almost two and i did not expect it to take this long so i'm going to hurry up and put the centerpiece thing in and then after that i'm going to put the mattress on and sit down many unbearable hours later so this is the foundation it took a million hours but at least it's up i'm so tired i want to put up the mattress right now i want to put the mattress up right now but i also feel like i need to call my dad and complain because why did this take so much time so i'm going to take a break i need to pee first of all oh, okay i'm going to go pee and i'm going to go call my dad and complain and ask him if i'm going to drop off of the bed because the third thing not in and then he's probably going to say yes, but oh well, but <laughs> I said that we're going to put up the mattress. So now let's talk about this mattress. Okay, first of all, I had to drag it into the room. That wasn't so bad. And then I put it down and I opened it to see what I was working with. Now, the mattress is so much. I don't even know why I didn't think it would be that heavy, but it was so heavy and so hard for me to get out. So this is where shit kind of went left slowly but surely. I'm going to just shut up and let you guys watch. this point i was just over everything but you know we had to move so i had to brush it off and get back to it and of course now my senses come in and they're like okay maybe you should just flip the mattress over brief from the end and i did that and of course it fell onto my lamp like it was just so much going on but i finally got it together i finally got the box off of the mattress and i was able to unroll it and cut all the plastic off and get it onto my bed and voila your girl has a mattress now Okay guys, it took some time, but I got the mattress on the bed. This looks like I did something wrong, cause why is it sticking out? Oh well. Oh my God, what did I do? Okay, vibes. But I got the mattress on the bed. So that did not take as long as the foundation. I'm happy that that is done. Oh my god guys, today, this afternoon, this evening I should say did not go as planned. I had planned to have this mattress and this bed up within like an hour at most, but it took me forever to put all of them up, as you all saw in the clip. But they're up now and I think I just have to go to Ikea and Marshalls and all of that tomorrow because I'm tired. I'm going to order some food and I'm going to clean up this place because there are plastic, there's plastic and boxes hold on turn on some light and boxes everywhere everywhere so i need to deal with that but i'm tired i'm tired but i'm glad i got everything done okay guys it is it is 8 48 um i managed to take some of the boxes out and break them down i am exhausted i just got some food i got some chinese food it's right here let me see oh look i even forgot what i had i think i got like some sugar dumpling not sugar dumpling sugar donuts why i don't know i'm not even supposed to be eating that but I don't know. Oh, something is leaking. Okay, so I got chicken and vegetable medley and with fried rice and an egg roll and I got some sh I got a lot of sugar dumplings. Wow. 
this is why I'm overweight. Why did I get so much? I don't know. And this is the actual food that I got. This looks so yummy. Uh, probably not going to eat all of that tonight. Definitely not going to eat all of the sugar dumplings tonight, that's for sure. So guys, as you can see, I've had a stressful afternoon. <laughs> stressful evening, so I'm just going to unwind. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to watch Power. I think the one with Tommy Force, yeah, a new episode came out last night, so I'm going to watch that. Chill, eat some food, and take a shower and go to bed, because I am exhausted, so. I will see y'all tomorrow, where we will... I did not see that. Anyways, as I was saying, I will see you guys tomorrow, where we will continue this assembly situation. Um, what I need to do next is assemble the shoe rack. We're going to do that tomorrow. I wanted to do it today, but... That's not happening so we're gonna do that tomorrow and we're gonna go to ikea tomorrow and marshall's tomorrow to get a new chair because i hate that one so yeah good night guys i'll see you tomorrow hey guys i am back it is after five now so i'm done working i'm just here i am so tired <laughs> but i have stuff to do that's one thing i hate about moving it's so much work and there's always something to do right now i need to oh, i thought i'm wondering right now i need to get up and go to ikea oh shoot i need to call mattress firm because they don't give me my refund yet yeah they haven't given me my refund as yet or anything so i need to i need to call them and see what's been going on because they're not gonna play with me like that so yeah but anyways yeah i need to go to i don't know what i was saying before but i need to go to ikea um but now it's like five o'clock so it's five o'clock traffic i'm so tired <laughs> So all over the place but no for real i am dead as tired as hell it's been a long day at work <sighs> there's just so much to do there's always something to do i just want to do nothing but that's not how the tables are turning right now so i'm gonna sit down for like 10 minutes i think i deserve that and then get my ass up and go to ikea hopefully that don't take long and then we're gonna come back and set up the shoe rack. And I am praying that does not take long either because I'm not into a mattress 2.0 situation. So I'll pick you guys up when I am at Ikea. Hey yeah. guys, so I'm here in Ikea. I'm trying to remember the name of the comforter that I will all sit here. This is the one. This is the comforter that I saw the last time that I said I wanted. This is the comforter that I came here for. Guys, I got the I don't know what that is. I can't pronounce it, but it's really nice and soft. I liked it. Plus, it's white, so it matches what I was kind of going for. So, this is what I'm gonna get. <laughs> it's heavy, and now, oh, now I'm just gonna look for a rug. But let me show you guys the comforters over here. So, these are the comforters. So if you guys didn't know, IKEA does sell comforters. I think everyone knows that, but <laughs> just in case. And it's like a whole section. I didn't know that. That's what I'm saying. Just in case. Until recently. Okay. Now we're going to look for the rug. I think I found the rug. No, I didn't. Why can I not find this rug? Am I not supposed to get it? I literally only saw it in one. Oh, wait. I think it's down here. The rug I see, I own, that I like, I only see it in pink and I want it in cream. Let me show you guys. This is the pink one. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. This is, it's called, oh my God, focus. It's called Voller Slave. This is the exact size. I just want it in cream. I don't want it in pink. The struggle never ends for me. Okay, I found it. This is it. This is how it looks. It's just a cream rug. Literally nothing special. Yeah. This is how it looks, but I don't want this big size. This is the color that I wanted though. It's white, but it's really... Oh my god, focus. It says white. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it says white, but it's really off-white. I don't want this size though, but that's, that's, that's what I was going for. Okay, guys, I got the comforter. It's under there hiding and the rug. Now I'm out of here. I'm out of this bitch, and we're going to Marshall's now. And then, yeah, so... I was literally in here for not even 15 minutes. I was literally in here for not even 15 minutes. 
but that's why I'm when I'm in stores I don't spend no time so I'm about to figure out how to come out of here and then I'm gonna leave because this rug it's not the heaviest thing I've lifted this card it's not the heaviest thing I've lifted since I moved but it's not light either so um <sighs> I'm just ready to be done so I'm gonna see y'all later when I get back into the car because maneuvering with this car and this rug but to lose my mind yes. <laughs> oh my god I literally spent five minutes in that Marshalls and it is so underwhelming like there's literally nothing in there I walked in and I was just like I don't think I'm going to find anything. I walked around for like five minutes and I was like, yeah, no, I didn't see the chair that I want. I didn't even see any of the other things that I may like, so that's a dub. I went to the Marshalls on the same plaza as the Ikea and I guess that's maybe my mistake because the Marshalls that I went to the last time why do I look so crazy? <laughs> the Marshalls that I went to the last time that I saw the the chair that I liked, it was a different location. This one was, I think, I'm going to say it's in South End. I still don't really know all the areas in Charlotte as yet, but I'm going to say it's in South End. Um, it's near the Target that I usually go to. And that one, it was, first of all, it was much more organized. So I wasn't confused. When I walked into that one, I was hella confused. I was like, yeah, no, because I don't do well with a mess all types of mess and it was like messy as hell in there so um yeah that threw me off and it just didn't have like the wide variety of stuff like the other one so i may need to go back to the other one to see if they still have the chair that i want because i know i saw the chair there at one point so i might have to go back to that one i'm not gonna do it today though because i'm tired so what i'm gonna do i'm going to head back home oh, and here's the rug in the back seat it actually fits <laughs> It actually fit in here and it wasn't too heavy so that's good and then I have the thing on the front seat So yeah, I'm about to go home and set these up and then um, I'm about to go home set these up and also set up the shoe rack Guys, we're gonna pray that that goes well because if I put it in the vlog or not I hope <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the vlog or not but last night when I was setting up the mattress You guys saw that it was a struggle but there was a point where I fell flat on my ass like flat I literally fell <laughs> at that moment I was like no just at that moment I was just ready to evaporate and give up and just be done so hopefully we don't have our piece of that or any other highly frustrating moments like what happened yesterday because the mattress and its foundation stressed me out to the max yesterday okay so I'm gonna head home now and I will see you guys when I get there okay guys I just got home Oh my god, the lighting looks weird, but anyway, that won't be a problem. I just got home and I washed my hands and everything. And now the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna set the shoe rack up right now. We're just gonna get it out of the way and be done with it. The rug I may do later, I may not do later. It's on the floor right here. Let me show you. And it actually was not that hard to bring upstairs. To my surprise, I guess. Yeah, I guess because it's a bit light, so it wasn't hard to bring upstairs, but it's here, so I'm gonna set the shoe rack up shoe rack up and then we're gonna get to the rug maybe the comforts i probably won't put in tonight put on tonight because i like to wash my sheets before i put them on my bed and i'm gonna need to wash that first but we're gonna do that shoe rack right now okay Baby, you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced
Okay guys, I am finally done with the shoe rack. This is it right here. I'm really proud of myself. I think I did a good job. It took me some time. Um, it took me like an hour or so to finish it, but it was kind of simple. I'm trying to get like a better angle. Sorry, there's a lot going on here. But yeah, this is the shoe rack. And I am so proud of myself for doing this. Like, this is such a complete 360 or 180 from last night's struggles. So yeah. And for anyone interested, I got it off of Amazon. Um, I'll link it below if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, guys, I'm tired. I am super tired. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. It's not that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feels in an every day All I wanna hear is the nervousness that we play Staring next to you You Okay guys, I just laid down Oh well, first of all, good morning <laughs> Um, I just laid down the new rug that I got yesterday from Ikea and Honestly, the lighting in here is not doing it justice, but um, I think I like it My vision was to put a like a gold coffee table in the middle. My only thing is it's not Well, I don't know if that's a problem but i wanted it to be a little bit longer to at least cover the end of the sofa but i think i can make it work but so far I think this little setup here looks cute. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, this is what we're working with. I like it. I actually really like it. The lighting is making it look a little bit different than what it is. It's like a off-white creamish color and it's super soft too. Um, so I think I'm going to put like a gold coffee table in the middle. Um, I have an idea of what I want. May get that. Put it in the middle and I think that will set everything off. So yay! But so far, everything is coming together nicely. Um, I still have not put any shoes on the shoe rack yet. That's just going to be for next another day because I'm going out of town to Jamaica tomorrow. It's not a pleasure trip. I'm going for a funeral and I have a lot to do today in terms of getting ready for that. So I don't think I'm going to really spend time on the shoe rack until I get back. So once I get back, I'll put that up and yeah. But I think this for sure is the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of the video for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Share the video with a friend. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, guys, take care. <laughs>